Hello and welcome to Philosophy Vibe, the channel where we discuss and debate different philosophical ideas. Today we're going to be going back to the free will and determinism debate and looking at the theological determinism argument. Excellent. Now, theological determinism is an argument against the idea of free will, and in fact it uses the existence of God as a reason to argue that humans do not have free will. How does it do that? Well, let's think about it. What is the common concept of God? The all-powerful creator of our universe. Exactly, the omnipotent creator. Yes. And would you agree that if you are an all-powerful creator, you would know everything? Your knowledge must be infinite. Would you then agree that God is therefore omniscient? Yes, I would. Okay, so if God knows everything, would you then agree that God can know what the future holds? Would you agree that the all-powerful and all-knowing creator of everything can see into the future and knows how future events will turn out? Well, I would have to say yes. Precisely. And so here lies the problem. This is known as divine foreknowledge. If God can see into the future, then he can see how an outcome will turn out before it has even happened, which therefore means that this outcome is determined to happen and can only happen this one specific way. I'm not sure I understand. Let's assume that Billy is just about to steal someone's money. Now, God knows that Billy is going to be a thief before Billy has stolen the money. As God knows the future, God knows exactly when Billy is going to steal. So, when Billy was 10, God knew that on this day Billy would steal. When Billy was one, God knew that on this day Billy would steal. In fact, even before Billy was born, God knew that on this day he would steal. So then, how was Billy ever free not to steal? How could Billy choose not to steal? If God could see that on this day, Billy is going to steal this money and this is the only way the situation will happen. Yes, I see. If God knows what we're going to do before we even do it, then how do we have free will? If God can see what our actions will be, what we are going to do, how we are going to live, if God can see all of this before we are even born, then we are not free. Our lives are determined in this way only and we do not have free will. But if we do not have free will and we do not choose what we are going to do, then how can God see what we are going to do? How does he know Billy was going to be a thief before Billy was alive if Billy didn't choose those actions in the first place? If Billy didn't choose those actions, then who did? Well, the only answer would be God. God purposely made Billy to steal on this specific day. So, not only do we not have free will, but it is God himself that decides what we will choose, how we will act, and how we will live. God determines all our fates. Everything we think we are choosing is nothing but God's decision. We are almost written characters in his infinite story. So all thieves and murderers and evil people are in fact purposely built by God. Well, how else can you explain divine foreknowledge? If God can see into the future, he can see someone's actions before they have been done. Someone cannot decide their actions before they are alive. The only one who can would be God. Yes, I see the problem. However, what if we take a different approach to our understanding of omniscience? What approach? What if we say that God cannot in fact see into the future? We reject the idea of divine foreknowledge altogether. Really? So God therefore ceases to be all-powerful? Wait a second, not necessarily. We do not expect an all-powerful God to be able to do logical contradictions. For example, if I say, can God create something he cannot lift? This is a logical contradiction, because if he can't create it, it is something he cannot do. And if he can create it, he then can't lift it, so it's still something he cannot do. We wouldn't therefore say God is not omnipotent because of this. Yes. So then, can we not say that because humans have free will, their choices have not been made, so there is no future to see? God cannot do this because humans have free will, and for God to see their future, it is a logical contradiction, and as we do not expect God to be able to perform logical contradictions, we can still maintain that he is all-powerful, but cannot see into the future. 
This then allows us to maintain our free will. Honestly, I do not think that this is a satisfying argument. It is not a logical contradiction for an all-powerful being to see into the future. We just have to drop the notion that humans have free will. Now, what seems more reasonable? That an all-powerful, all-knowing creator of the entire universe cannot see into the future or we as human beings have our lives determined i would say the latter i don't think it works at all i do not see how an all-powerful god could not have divine foreknowledge if you can know everything then this must include future events what if we try another approach to divine foreknowledge what if being all-knowing means you can know a variety of different outcomes to a situation but you do not know which specific outcome will actually happen. What do you mean? Let's say, before someone makes a choice to do something, God can see every possible path there is. He can see every possible choice you make and each consequence to the choice, but he does not know which one out of the possible choices that you will choose. So I wake up and step outside my door. God can see all the possible choices I have. Do I go to the shops? Do I go to the cinema? Do I go to get something to eat, etc, etc? He can see all my possible choices and he can see all the future possible outcomes of all my possible choices, but he does not know which I will choose until the moment I choose it. I then still have free will. I am still free to choose and God still can see into the future. He can see all the future outcomes, but he just does not know which specific one will actually take place. Again, I still think you are limiting God's knowledge and power. If God cannot know which specific outcome will take place, then he is not all knowing. Being able to see a range of possibilities is not knowing the actual future. And so we are back to the situation where our almighty and all powerful creator does not know what your future is and what you will do. God only knows what your options are. Okay, fine. Well, maybe we can't get around divine foreknowledge. However, what if we look at the idea of time as a way to get around this? What do you mean? Here is the problem that divine foreknowledge raises. You were saying that free will does not exist because God can see how you will choose before you have chosen. Yes. You are, however, assuming that God perceives time in a linear sequence one moment after another after another and it builds forward on and on well how else can you perceive time not us but god why should you assume god perceives time in a linear sequence he is the creator of space and time and must be beyond it so if god is beyond time he is actually outside of it he is not in the realm he is looking down on it he can step out of time and therefore perceive your entire timeline as one God can then perceive the past, present and future simultaneously. So when we say God can see into the future, what we actually mean is that God is in the future and the present and the past all at the same time. So you still have free will. You can still make your choices. It's just that as you make them, God is already in the future seeing what happens. God is there when you're 5, when you're 20 and when you're 70, he is there all at the same time. I see. So yes, God still has divine foreknowledge. He is still all-knowing, but he is just outside looking down on your timeline and you are still free to make your choices. So it's not that God can see what you choose before you have chosen, but rather he is there before you choose, while you choose and after you choose all at the same time you are still free to make the choices. Well, that is interesting, but I do not think it is satisfactory. It still leaves me wondering if God can step out of time completely and can see my entire timeline as one, that still means my timeline is going in one direction. It still means that I have a determined path. Ultimately, if God is now in my future and can see what I'm doing on this day when I'm 70, then no matter what I do or what choices I think I make, it is inevitably going to lead to this one outcome. I do not see how I can have free will if that is the case. Interesting. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the vibe. And what does everyone else think? Do you think the existence of God means we do not have free will? Does divine foreknowledge ultimately mean determinism for everyone? Let us know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye bye.